Okay, sometimes dreams come true and today is going to be one of those days for me. Now, 36 years ago, a movie came out that changed everything and became one of the best trilogies or the start of one of the best trilogies ever made of all time. So I've had a dream that's been connected to this movie and today it's going to get to come true. Now, if you haven't been following me, my husband actually restores classic cars for a living and a car came to his shop that I just had to take a ride in. So for 36 years, I've been dreaming of getting to ride in one of these cars and today it's going to happen. So let me show you what it is. We're gonna get in and go for a ride. This is a 1981 DeLorean. I will try to refrain from making back to the future jokes and references because I really want you to hear the history of this particular car. Guys, this is amazing and I'm fixing to freak out. <laughs> I'm so excited, I can't stand it. Okay, guys, I'm so excited. Before we go for a ride, I mean, oh my gosh, it's so low to the ground, I'm so excited. Look at it, look at it with the gold wings up. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is amazing, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, I can't stand it. I love the wheels on these things. Oh my gosh. Gotta get the dust knocked off of it. So did, did, see. Do the wipers not work or you just don't have fluid? Uh, yeah, I'm sure they do. It's just the car's been sitting here for, for a while. Okay, oh my gosh, so I'm think, so excited. I think we're gonna be finishing it here soon. Okay. Well, I'm glad I'm getting this opportunity. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. The roof is so low. Oh my gosh. And the door is heavy. That is. Oh my God. Okay, this thing has got me in the back seat. Is there no way to raise the back up? Uh... Oh my god. There's a knob on the side. There's a knob that you twist. I don't know. See, it goes. <laughs> it might be just locked into place. Oh my gosh, though, guys. Look, look. This is the only part of the window that opens. <laughs> this is so cool. There's a um, work. Oh my god. You scared me. <clears throat> I need it to sit about right here. These things were not made to be practical. No. At all. Okay, see how that is. That's much better, thank uh, you. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at the, look at the instrument panel, guys. Woo, he slammed that. Okay, look at, look at this instrument panel. Look at this. Look at those miles. Look at those miles, guys. And that is not turned over. That's no. actual mileage. That's actual mileage. 2,120 miles. This car, they're all rare, but this one is rare for the rare. Yeah, wait till you And he that. will tell you. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to put on my seatbelt here. I don't know how well the air works. Again, these are not made to be practical. Look at my headroom. Like, barely any headroom in this thing. Like, <laughs> guys, I'm so freaking excited. I cannot believe. I'm fixing to take a ride in a DeLorean. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so cool. Oh, it has a cassette player. Oh, oh, that takes me back. Okay, I've got, oh my gosh, an ashtray. Let me show you this stuff. Okay, look, here's the ashtray. Guys, remember, remember these things in cars? <laughs> Look, look, look. I would have put my master of puppets right in here. Look at the glove boxes angle. Okay, this is cool. Look at how the vents are. Look at how the vents are on the side and everything. Oh my gosh. Here we go, guys. I'm so excited. How cool is it that I have my own Doc Brown? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Does this roll down the little window? Oh. Do they roll down? Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> Look, it's like, it's like, if you drive up to a drive through, it's like... Oh, I know. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. What all was it in the shop for? Um, because it sat for like 20 something years and well, longer. <laughs> and it was, uh, it just, it came, it, it came to us to get back out on the road. The, the brakes were seized up, the tires were shot. We had to rebuild the uh, fuel injection system. It had the original tires on it, didn't it? Yeah. That is so cool. Is it hard to shift? It's a, it's a little clunky. Okay. Um, but yeah, we just, he just bought it to us it, and, and this car is locally owned. Um, That's cool. He bought it to us to get it running and driving again, basically. And we had to redo the seat covers and the carpets new because it was just all dried out. Even though the low mileage, the car sat for such a long time and not, and not being taken care of, it just dried out the the upholstery but all this is original isn't yes. it because this looks really good actually this is this does look really nice i was thinking the seats look darn good this is guys look <laughs> Did you? Yeah, new uh, springs and shocks. I'll turn around about a mile, so. This is so cool, guys. I have always wanted to get a chance to work on one, and even though I haven't done a lot of work personally, on this, I'm glad that our shop finally got to do some work on one. And a lot of videos are our, our get to drive one. I know. So see, getting to drive one would be like, but still, I'm happy to get to ride in it because, guys, this is so freaking cool. This is so amazing. Like Back to the Future came out 36 years ago. I was 14 years old, so I have wanted to ride in one of these for that long, guys. This is just, this is amazing. I'm so freaking happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. The vents yeah. don't, the yeah. vents don't stay up. But the, the, the air yeah, does yeah. work. Yeah, but the air is blowing cold. That is cool. Yeah. That is 
a pool. <laughs> I can't I can't get over how everything is just like like I love the wide buttons and stuff right yeah. here. It's really nice. It's very um it's, it's, tactile. It's very 80s. It is very 80s, but it's very easy to use too. So it's like because it's just like five large buttons, you wouldn't have to ever look down at it if it was your car. You just reach down and know which button did what. Yeah. Because it's so easy to feel. It's, it's actually it actually has more power than I thought. Uh, these yeah. are not very very fast cars because they're just the six cylinders have a uh, Renault. I think it's a French yes. engine, but uh, it's actually a little stronger than I thought. It was. Actually, it does have a little more power than I thought it would. To be honest. Well, let's see. Yes, oh yes, you do. I'm just gonna leave the doors up. This is so cool. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, thank you for taking me for a ride in this. This is so cool, guys. This is so freaking cool. Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, now let's tell the story about the car. Well, all, a lot of people don't don't know, but these cars are built in, in Ireland. That's why they that the foreign. The, uh, uh, that's more or less like a European style tag. Mm -hmm. um, that's 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 fact about it. Okay. <clears throat> Look right here. January 8, 81. So this is the first year of them being built in the first month. So this is super, super, super early car. Okay. 516. The first the first DeLorean was 500. So this is body number 16. Okay. 16th body built ever. And there was eight or 9,000 of these cars built, I think, uh, for like three, four years. Um, but this is the 16th body built. And if you know what matching numbers in cars means, this, the way that they did it was kind of weird uh, because the body number 16 the chassis number is one. It's the first chassis ever built. Wow. And this is basically, they basically took the the uh, same setup as a Lotus on the chassis. Okay. And then the body that they did and then a Renault engine. So it's kind of a mutt from the factory. Uh, so body number 16, chassis number one. And this is the first one. This, this car is the first one shipped to the US. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, that's now, so crazy. The the mileage thing. Okay. This car is a prototype, so it was never meant to be licensed. This car has never been licensed, never. So it's never actually been street legal. That's amazing. Um, and this car uh, from the the uh, De Delorean clubs and uh, like the owners clubs <laughs> and the forums. Apparently, and we didn't know until we got this car. This 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 car had been um, people had been looking for this car for a long time because of the history. And the reason is number five fifteen and number five seventeen were both crash test cars because they're prototypes. Number five sixteen, which is what this one is, was the high speed test car. So when uh, when we got the car, it had just over two two thousand miles on it. We've put about a hundred miles on it. Wow. And probably 
most, if not all of those miles were test miles. That's insane. Because the, uh, the, the numbers that this car put out is what the, or the numbers that were advertised as far as the speed and stuff. Um, when this owner got it, I don't know. I think he's had it for a long, long time. But I don't know why he didn't drive it much, but it basically sat and sat and sat, and that's what car, uh, we have put in new, uh, new carpet, new seat covers. But uh, that's basically the story behind the car is that this is a prototype. That's insane. So what that means is that the the uh, uh, the pro production line cars will have or will not have things that this one did because prototypes are the whole point of a prototype is to see what works, what doesn't. Right. So it could be something simple like a couple knobs on dash or uh, one of the handles or the switch. I mean, anything could be different, but this is, that's the whole point of a prototype is to see what, what works and what doesn't. So that's, that's basically the story of this car. Is this a body part? Is that is that number from all the this factory? Is factory. All this that is factory? factory? Yeah, that is, is factory. so freaking cool. Oh my gosh. So this, I don't know if this is the lowest mileage one, the lowest mileage one around, but if it's not, it's gotta be close. Yeah. It's got, it's, it's gotta be close. And a one that you can buy that's a regular, this is a regular one, not a prototype. You can probably get it for anywhere from 35 to 50 grand. They're, they're, they're not a, a, a whole lot to, um, to buy, but for the history of this car and the fact it was a prototype, it's priceless. I mean, it, I don't know yeah. if you can put a price on this car. I don't think you, I don't, yeah, the fact that it's never been registered or anything, yeah, I don't think so. Because it can't be registered. Right. It can't be. I think that that's so freaking cool. I want to sit in the driver's seat yeah. and get a, like a view of this from the driver's seat. Woo! <laughs> that is so cool. Guys, this is, this is legit. This is as legit as it gets. This is insane. So, I'm gonna take a still picture. There we go. Gosh, ooh, see, oh gosh, that's so cool. Look, the DMC. Look at this. Let's look at everything. I'm trying to figure out how you pop, pop the rear hatch. I have not, ouch, I have not actually done much work on this car myself. So, I'm trying to figure out. Had a pop. I'm, these patches up. I'm trying to open the engine cover. I really don't know how you do it. Oh, he got it. Got it popped up. And then this. Does it not latch? Found it. Is it not a rod or something? It might be missing right now while they're yeah, working it on it. Just hold it up. Oh. There. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. That's That's different. Guys. So. We had a we had to reseal the entire engine, get the fuel injection pump rebuilt. Uh, very ex expensive. Very I'm expensive. sure, guys. This is and absolutely like, amazing. This here, the guy does not want to fix because it's he, because it's he wants to keep it original. And one thing, being a pro prototype, the body gaps are not that great because they're not trying to make them nice. Right, so, so it didn't matter. They're test cars. Yeah, you can see. So if we right actually here. made that fit better, it would hurt the value of the car. See, stuff like that's really good to know. That's amazing. I'm gonna take a still picture of this. Like this. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that's, that. That's safety lights if you broke down or if uh, at nighttime or just, just for getting out. That is cool. So they can see you. That is so cool. Everything, like the original stickers and everything, the, everything is so freaking cool on this. This is amazing. And the rear wheels, I don't know why they did this because these are strange cars. Mm -hmm. The rear wheels are 15s, the front wheels are 14s. Oh, so they have and a little bit you, of a rake. If you look, you can see a size difference. You, that is crazy. Yeah. That is so crazy. And then I think there is 
little chip there, and then there's a little, little dent right there. But all of this is original, so is, it's is, is gonna stay. I'm in love. Yeah. And here is the, oh, wow. That's very large. And this is where you put the gas in. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Let me come over there and get the, since, oh gosh, these, these are that's original where you put the stickers. gas in. And this is where you put it in the washer fluid for the windshield. Okay, let me come around here and get the original stickers. Oh gosh, guys, even this, even the lifts say DMC on yeah. them. I mean, nothing on this car is regular or normal. So Look, cool. Even, even though the little light even on there. the windshield. Right Think of the price of this windshield because of that name. Oh my gosh. I would not want. I would not want to know. Uh uh. I wouldn't want anything to happen to it. This is so futuristic. Even now, it it's is. still it still just ticks all the boxes for me. It really does. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to end the vlog right here so I can take a couple more still photos. Guys, it was amazing getting to ride in one of these. It was mind blowing. I cried twice, once on camera, once off camera, but it was so cool. And what's crazy is like everybody loves this car. So when you're going down the road, everybody, everybody stares, everybody stares at you. It is Even if you're not amazing. A car person, you know what this is. Right, right. It is amazing. So I want to thank you for taking me for a ride in my Bye. one of my dream cars. And thank your boss for letting you take me for a ride because yeah. I really appreciate that. That just really made me happy. So, oh my gosh. Okay, still picture time.